Hello there and welcome to our channel. In this video we will discuss why it's important to have a list of all your internal and external URLs and how to actually generate it. So why it's crucial to have a list of all your internal and external URLs. Imagine your website as a city, each link as a pathway guiding your visitors and search agents through a journey. Without a clear map, visitors can get lost and search agents might miss the important sites. Now, let's dive into some real-world SEO scenarios. First goes error detection. Broken links are like roadblocks in our city, causing traffic jams and frustrating visitors. With a clear list, you can pinpoint and fix these errors swiftly, ensuring smooth user experience. We've created a detailed video on broken links that you can check here. Second goes SEO weight redistribution. Some pages on your website deserve more attention. By analyzing your links, you can funnel more SEO weight towards vital pages, boosting their visibility in search agent results, then enhancing user navigation. Have you ever been lost in a maze? That's how users feel with poor internal linking. A well-structured and logical linking on your website helps users to find the content they love. External link analysis. Not all links lead within. External links connect your site to the vast digital world. Understanding these pathways ensure you are linked to trustworthy domains, enhancing your website's credibility. Strategic content creation By monitoring which internal pages are most connected, you can identify popular topics and trends within your website. This insight fuels strategic content creation, attracting even more visitors. Now let's jump into the practical part, how we can check all the internal and external links on your website. This is where Site Checker steps in. First, you will need to create a project. Then in the settings of Site Audit you will see many different configurations for crawling. However, pay attention to this checkbox, especially to external links checkbox, and choose the type of link that we will need to crawl wisely. After the scanning is completed, you will get a full-scale SEO audit report with all of those issues we have found on your website. In order to access the section with all of the links we were able to find on your website, navigate to All Affected Pages tab. There will be all the internal links listed. Here, you can filter the needed ones and manage columns with the specific information for the URL. The column that will help you to identify the most linked pages is Page Weight. The more it is, the more connections the page has. After the click on the internal URL, you will be provided with a page details report. Here you can see many more insights about the page. It will include its overview, information about its content and much more. However, the most useful feature for us will be linking section. From there you will see all the internal backlinks, internal links and external links this particular page has, their status code and relation, do follow or no follow. Also you will see what anchors appear on the page and how frequent. In order to access your external links, you will need to simply locate the external links tab on the right. Here you can check all the backlinks to a specific page to understand where the anchors to other websites are located. Both internal and external links can be exported as a CSV, a Google Sheets file or a sitemap, where you can even pick the status code of the links you want or don't want to appear in the file. And remember, every link is an opportunity, an opportunity for better user engagement, improved SEO rankings and a website that truly stands out. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and if you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support at support.sitechecker.pro. See you in our next episodes.